I was about to start doing some of my videos and uh, realized I hadn't really updated everybody on last night. Yeah, we got the cheese. Um, obviously, J.K. Mickey Mantle, I talked to yesterday. I thought he raised pretty good. I was happy with him now. Um, J.K. Victory, a number of people say, is he okay? Look a little steppy. Well, considering that was the first tech he missed all year in Indiana, I think maybe cut him a break. You know, he's the type of horse you like to use hard. The rail's not really his friend because he's the first one there. Now, you usually got to cut one loose. They cut one loose. Now you're sitting second or third, half up in 55 and one. You might say a reasonable pace. But if you look at all the good that J.K. Mickey Mantle or J.K. Victory does, it's usually with that scorching half, right? Like not crazy fast, but hot, a hot pace. Amy and I were watching it last week and she said, you know, moved him third to first half in 54. That's lots. That's probably too much. I said, that's exactly where he likes it. He doesn't like that slowing tempo. And then they step on the gas in the turn. He just loses a couple of lengths. It's very debilitating for him because he gets, you know, at a gear a little bit and he loses lengths. And he, you know, it, it really costs him. He likes that grinding pace forward in the third quarter also. 54 and a piece, 123, 122 and a piece. And then he'll kick home 28 seconds, maybe 27 in a bit. Just not the way he likes to race. And then last night, he did look a little flat down by the wire, but for a horse that's raced hard all summer and raced his guts out the week before, cut him some slack. He just wasn't 105% last night. They can't be all the time. And it's incredible that he's been every week, week in and week out, so good. Then we went to the last heat. You know, the filly that we thought was the one to beat, uh, outside of our filly, was the one that made a break at the gate. So you think you're sitting pretty. Uh, I knew when Scotty didn't move her until Lady was coming slow that she just wasn't, the week before, she seemed a little fumbly, a little out of gear, finishing up. I thought maybe she was a little off, and, and uh, Megan uh, was adamant that it was just muscle soreness, and she was sore behind. Said one shoulder was bothering her a little bit, but nothing really serious. So we t actually talked quite extensively last night about it. My first inclination was just turn her out in the field and Peninsula, the same place we have the other uh, two-year-olds turned out. If they could take her. Megan said, listen, I'm not advocating to keep her racing. In fact, she's right. She's the one that said, why don't we shut her down before Indiana? And I I said, no, I'd, I'd rather not do that. Um, you know, I just felt that it was money on the table. Now, the last two state races are for 50, which is a lot of money. I know if you're out there and you're a partner of mine on, on Tactical Mount, you're going to say to yourself, well, she's made lots. We got next year. You're right, 100%. Generally speaking, my take on that would be don't leave money on the table unless it's a good idea. Well, when it comes to the first two, 30, 60, and then 100 and some, okay, that's pretty good money. The next ones are 50 divided by divisions also. Um, so there's a chance at least that you won't raise for 50, she'll raise for 25. Or, or even less if you really bad luck. But or you might just have the one division. It's hard to say. Um, but those would be smaller stakes, and now we are at the very end of the year. So my my uh, question to Megan was, you tell me. We could have stopped last night, just sent her out to Peninsula Farms in Kentucky. Uh, instead of doing that, Megan took her back to New Jersey. She's going to work on her in the next couple of days and tell me what she thinks. Is she sharp? Is she eating everything? Feeling good? She did message me this morning to say the Philly ate everything. Sharp as attack. Okay. If you believe that she's going to be fine for her last two starts, then no problem. We'll race her last two starts. But if there's any inclination that she may not be on the top for a game, then let's just pull a plug. Shut her down. I, at this point, certainly don't have a problem doing that now. You know, it was a good Jeepers, sixty or seventy thousand dollars she hauled in there in, in, in Indiana. I think great. Fifteen, thirty is forty-five, twenty-five, almost seventy thousand dollars last month, last. Uh, the last three weeks so uh, a good run for her regardless if that's it or not that's a good run for her and a great job by Megan a great job by Scott also and he also told me you know food for thought I'm not going for the last two that go for 50 so you know there's that also so a lot a lot of uh, pointers towards her being um, to her being potentially done 
for the season, but no guarantees just yet. Now, Philly, who is done forever, probably for us, a swinging seniorita, kicked hard on the end of it, you know, finished sixth, but I thought she raced very, very well. Um, you know, coming off a break, a lot of probably stress on Ronnie because I did make fun of him quite a bit all week uh, about it, and, and I told him, quite frankly, he'd never live it down if she made another break on him. So he was very, very cautious with her last night, but I thought she raced very, very well. Um, you know, that's a, that's a big jump to ask her to, you know, she was only, what, a length or so away from Rosa and Yolanda, where she's been virtually her whole life. So I thought that uh, Swinging Senior raced very, very well. Impressed with her also. Uh, she actually made her way back. I, I, felt like a, I felt like a tool. I had, uh, I sent the guy a message this morning that was going to ship her home. He messaged me last night. He said, I'm going to be here tonight. If you need your shipped home, let me know. And I messaged him like, hey, really sorry. I said, I didn't get back to you. Um, you know, I'll let, I'll let Ronnie know and, and, and uh, we'll work it out. And he, I never heard back from him. I get to the barn. She's sitting there looking at me. <laughs> Swing senior eight. He took her last night after the race. They put her away, poulticed her all up, and down the road. So when we got there this morning, Swingy Senior is sitting there looking at us. So she's in the burn. Uh, she just needs a quick reproduction check by the veterinarian. And then she's off to Harrisburg with uh, uh, a cutie cumber and horn player. Uh, middle of the week, we'll usually ship them down. You don't get them there when the babies are selling. They usually get there on Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday night, I think, is when Jacob said. So that's when those fillies will be heading down to, uh, down to Harrisburg. Now, also got up this morning. I had some work to do. I wanted to train three horses today in the race bike. I want to set the hobbles and everything for Zetty, or Zet, Divine Zet. I wanted to set the hobbles for um, Lindy's Landing, and I wanted to train because we didn't get a chance to race him this week. I wanted to train up Big Walter, Walter's keepsake. So I uh, got to the burn. Jogged all the horses. I even went with uh, the little baby there. What's her name? She's such a sweetheart. I like her. Gorgeous, Gorgeous package. Yes, that's her name. Um, what a sweetheart she was. Uh, went out today. She had she had tripped and fell down this week, so scraped her knees up a little. It's no big deal. She's fine. Um, but I told the the guys, I said, just put an open bridle on her. This is a baby that's been broke two weeks. Just put an open happy bridle on her. She bounced out onto the track and trotted along. She was absolutely perfect. Uh, just a, a really sweet filly. I like her a lot. Um, Amy went with uh, Punch. She was good. Jogged her. And I trained the three horses last trip. So I went a mile in 2-3 uh, last half in 58 with Lindy's Landing. He was good. And that's perfect for him racing on Wednesday. That's a great trip for him. I went a mile in 2 minutes last half in 58 with Walter's Keepsake. He was good too. I like how he was trotting. And uh, Divine Zed, I only went a mile in 210 with. She had qualified on Tuesday, but I let her scoop pretty good on the end of it. We get the hobbles and everything set up. Now, for all three of those horses, I was very, very happy with the way they trained. So that's today in the books. Not really. We still have tonight. We still got who? Gypsy. Um, we still got Alibaba, Gypsy, and Absolute Euphoria. Now, uh, Jim, uh, Jim Eaton invested me in and he said, I know you have in the sale. They, they do have like an open pop-up type thing if you want to race her so feel free to go ahead and race her i don't think it's really going to diminish her value or her worth by you racing her and in fact he had mentioned racing her without hobbles tonight so she might actually race without hobbles why is your why should your new pen have that what have the, the you got to stick it in mine has a magnet the magnet sits right on the side of my ipad That's crap. Mine has that. Doesn't have an end that comes off. I think they screwed you over on that. Old but Best Buy might be getting an iPad back come Monday more or come next Friday. That's crap. And mine's a year older than yours. I never liked that anyway. What? So I'm not sure how that works. Maybe they did change the thing. Anyway, um, so tonight we have ab absolute euphoria uh, early this afternoon, 7.40. So early tonight, 
and then Alibaba and Renegade Gypsy. A lot of people messaging me still about Gypsy. Just relax. He races good. Uh, I spoke to Ron uh, briefly about it. If the horse races good, then I don't have to bring him to the sale. I don't care. But I need to see consistency. So he's in a little tougher tonight. I see he was. Anyway, does it show that? He is right now 12 to 1 morning line in the 22,000 class. And they must have him up in the open trot, do they? Open to, not uncoupled. So he's in with some tough customers tonight. We'll get a real good look at how... Uh, We'll get a real good look at how Renegade Gypsy races tonight and then go from there. Either way, I'm not worried. We're going to protect him price-wise if we do bring him there. And if we don't bring him there, we don't bring him there. I don't really care. I just thought that that was the right move at the right time. Um, and we'll see. We'll see. So with that, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going, to I'm going to start doing your videos, your weekly videos right now. I'll get this one out to you immediately as obviously Amy and I are on our way to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Should be a lot of fun. We'll be there in a couple hours. But well on our way now. So with that, I'll let you go. Take care. Have a wonderful weekend, and stay tuned as we have uh, as we have a, uh, a lot of shows set up for you this week from Harrisburg. Should be a lot of fun the whole week from from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. This is it. This is the last the last major sale of the year. Take care.